This week in 3D Archery, I'm back up in Arkansas, shooting at the J.P. and John Hunt Ozark Family Retreat Mountain Sportsman Complex, Name of Death. Hey everybody, welcome to 3D Archery, Greg here. All right. Going out to visit my mother, and while I'm up there, I wanted to shoot. And I haven't been able to set up my bows down here because the weather has been horrendous. Floods, high winds, I just can't shoot outside. So I wanted to play with a few things, but I wanted to see how they work. And I'm struggling on it right now because I don't have anything to do. So when I went up there, I thought I'd be able to do it. Turned out it was 30 something degree weather. Eh, that's right, and windy. So I'm taking this, this is my Coyote Hunter from Hitman Archery, love this bow. One of the best things about it is you can see it's a takedown, but this is bolt on. But if I put a collar in it, it becomes an ILF bow. That's pretty cool. Now, the one thing I am going to try is a rest. I want to see how much of a difference a rest makes from shooting off the shelf. I don't know how much. This is a Hoyt Super Rest. It's pretty cool. Um, it's probably the most successful inexpensive rest ever. Uh, this rest has won Olympic medals. All the way up to 2012, I believe was the last time, and somebody shot with it in the last one. After that, they actually used these. They didn't get a medal, but they did place pretty high. So this thing here, it's pretty neat. So let's see how it works, all right? So there's that, shooting my arrows. I did cut these down to 28 inches. I normally shot 30. We'll see how that works, all right? Got a lot to work on. I'm trying to get my crawls are not exactly set, but that's what I'm out there to do, all right? So kick back and enjoy. Maybe almost freezing. It was cold. Up at the JB and John L. Hunt. Wait, wait, the name is here. The JB and John L. Hunt Family Ozark Highlands Nature Center in Springdale, Arkansas.
All right, Betty, there you have it. Not my best shooting. Um, found a form issue, really big one. I've had it for since I started shooting bare bow. Something's going on there. I gotta work it out. It's all my bow hand is kicking in. I'm not pushing through to the target. I'm letting the bow push back in my hand. And then when I do that, when I let go, the bow shoots into the side, affecting my shot. Um, something big I gotta work on, but it's, I don't think it's something I can't come by. So this rest works really good, but there is a flaw. It's a very, I don't wanna say weak, but it's not stiff, which I like. But what you can see here, my, my arrow, if I don't draw right, it will kick way over. So I think that's part of it too, going with my bow hand, but we'll find out. All right, so that wasn't bad. First one up, first one in the books, it's good. I know I gotta do some work. I really think I'm gonna have to change arrows. There's just something telling me this ain't all me. Right? It's got to be some of these arrows too. I just got to find that perfect little, you know, mixture of everything. All right. So here's the website right here, right? 3darchery.net, where you can find all types of stuff about archery, from places to shoot, competitions, festivals, and so much more. All at 3darchery.net. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next time with an all new episode, 3D Archery. All right. Now, I did this, but can I do that? What's that, Greg? Well, you'll have to stay tuned.